Okay, now in order to populate anything to our table view, what we need is a way to create these items because uh, we have a class that is going to create and maintain our categories, but we don't have anything to create a for sale item object. So whatever we are going to sell on our platform is going to be called an item. So we are going to create a model for our item so that we can create as many items as we want and put them for sale. So let's go to our model here, select the category, command N to create another Swift file. Click next and I'm going to call this item. And we're going to write the class what our item is going to have. So my class name is going to be item. It's not going to be subclass of any other class. So here, first, we're going to import UI kit. And then we are going to write what kind of variables our item is going to have, what uh, properties it's going to have. So first, our item is going to have an ID because we want to keep track of the items using the ID. This is going to be a string. Then we are going to have a variable category ID. And where you need this in order to know this item belongs to which category. And this will be used in order to search items because here, once we choose an item, we are going to a category, we are going to grab all the items that have the specific category ID. So this is why we need this. Then our item is going to be uh, needing a name, which is a string. And also we need a description. Remember the cell we created, we have a name, description and price. So we're going to have description, which is a string as well. And of course we need a price. It's going to be a double. And also we need our images. So our item is going to have images more than one. And in order to keep the images, we are going to save only the links to these images. And once we download the item, we're going to use the specific links to get access to the images. So we're going to say var image links. And this is going to be array of strings. All right, so each item is going to have these five properties. And let's write an initializer for our class here. It's going to be an empty initializer. And then we're going to have another initializer, which is going to initialize our item uh, based on the script uh, dictionary. So as soon as we download everything from our Firestore, we are going to have a this type of initializer so that we can feed this dictionary, which is JSON code into our initializer. And it's going to create a specific item for us. So I'm going to say init with dictionary. And it's going to be an NS dictionary. And when we initialize it with dictionary, we are going to do the same thing we did with our category. So we set our variables and then we are going to use dictionary and key to our uh, items. So we don't have these keys written for our, uh, for our item yet. Remember in our constants, we have done some for our category and for our uh, item, we need to set some other keys. So let's do this item and let's start writing what kind of keys we are going to need. I'm going to copy uh, one of them here so we can just change the name and the value. So our uh, dictionary is going to need an uh, object ID, which uh, we happen to have. So we are not going to redeclare it, uh, declare it. Then we have to have a category ID. This one we don't have. So we say K category ID. And here we will say category ID. Let's copy this and paste. 
then we are going to have the name which we already have so we are not going to rewrite it uh, we need a description so it's going to be k description command v one more time to uh, the next one is going to be the price so we ha don't have a price yet so say k price and finally we need the image links so i will say k image links image links all right so we have these four new uh, things that we have created and i'm going to command p in order to make our uh, newly created constants available in our item so now we are going to say our id is equals and it's going to be our dictionary and we're going to access the key k object id and i'm going to specify that this is as string then we have our category id and again we say underscore dictionary k category id uh, optional as string then we move to our name is equals to dictionary k name as string then we go to our description is equals to dictionary k description and we're going to specify this as string as well and we move to our price is equals to dictionary k price and this time we say that this is as double and finally our image links is equals to dictionary k image links as and this is an array of string all right so this way our uh, dictionary initializer is ready so we have two initializers for our item and both of them are ready then we are going to need other functions in order to download and to save item to our uh, firestore which is going to be exactly the same uh, way we access it our category so we are going to write all this function in our next lecture so that our lectures are not going to be long and complicated